Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the sixth video in this rotational motion series. This is a very short video on the concept of rotational inertia. So we're going to talk about comparing rotational inertia to the normal mass that you know, and uh, then a table of different formula of rotational inertia. So when I ask what is mass, uh, most people might answer how heavy something is. But to that I ask, well, how can we find something's mass in space? How heavy it is doesn't really make any sense. A more precise definition of mass that a physicist would use is how hard or easy it is to accelerate something. So that goes for something in space as well. So a, a tennis ball, which you know has less mass than the astronaut there. Now on Earth, you, that makes a lot of sense. You put them on scales and you see which one's heavier. In space, you could simply do it by pushing it away and seeing which one would be easier to accelerate. The tennis ball would be much easier to accelerate than the person, therefore it has a much smaller mass than the person does. Similar for rotational inertia. Rotational inertia is the equivalent to mass but in a rotating system, and it measures how hard or easy it is to rotate something. The symbol for rotational inertia is capital I, and the units are kilograms meters squared. And we'll explain why on the next slide. So how hard or easy it is to rotate something, it depends on where the mass in that system is. It depends on the shape and, and, and how far that mass is from the center. The further all the mass is from the center, the harder it is to rotate. Here is a table of formula that you do not need to memorize. If you are asked to calculate anything using one of these formula, you will be given the appropriate formula. But this formula just shows that different shaped objects have different rotational inertia. So for example, this is a solid sphere, and if you were to spin that, the rotational inertia is 2 halves times its mass times its radius squared. Whereas if you were to spin a cylinder on its axis here, then the rotational inertia to calculate that it's a half mr squared. That same cylinder, if you were to not spin it on its axis down the middle of the circle, but through the middle of the, the, um, the cylinder, spin it around here, has a different rotational inertia, because now we're spinning it about a different radius, different shape, and that's a half mr squared. Similarly, um, hoops, <coughs> which are thin compared to cylinders which are solid, um, a thin spherical shell is different from a solid sphere in that a solid sphere is solid all the way through, but a shell it has all its mass just on the outside. And that's I equals 2 thirds mr squared. So that's a bigger rotational inertia than a, sphere, a, a solid sphere is because it has some of its mass towards the center. So different shapes, different formula. You will be given formula if you need them. All of these have a formula that looks like something times m r squared, and that's where the kilograms per meter squared comes from in our units.